All right, I'm here. Hi, I'm Jeff Woodier from Hugging Face. Uh, I'm on the product team over there. I'm super happy to be here. Thank you so much, Passant Cassie, for inviting me uh, to talk to you today. Uh, what I want to talk about is how um, you can Uh, using the Optimum library and its integration with Onyx Runtime. So all the goodness that Ryan uh, was just telling you about uh, is available uh, to easily be applied onto Transformers models using the Optimum library. All right, so let's get started. It's a short talk and I'm going to breeze through everything. So if you have questions and we don't have time to ask questions, don't hesitate to ask me directly. I'm at jeff at huggingface.co. Through this uh, talk, I'm first going to take a step back and bring you into the, the Transformers world and how we got to where we are today, uh, to then talk about Optimum, why we went out to build a specific li library that's focused on accelerating Transformers models. But first up, uh, a little bit of a trivia quiz. So what do Tesla, Gmail, Facebook, and Bing all have in common? Uh, the answer, you know it, it's Transformers. But the point that I'm trying to make is that uh, there are very few companies in the world that are able to make billions of predictions based on Transformers models a day, which Gmail is doing uh, through its autocomplete, which uh, Tesla Autopilot is doing. Um, and same goes for translation on Facebook or search results uh, with Bing. So what are we trying to do at Hugging Face? Well, we're trying to make the power of those Transformers models accessible to every single company in the world uh, through uh, accessible, readily accessible pre-trained models and through tools to make uh, use of it all. For us, the, the, the initial uh, conception starts with the advent of transfer learning, of the attention is all you need paper. This is what really changed the field of machine learning. It changed the, ch the field of machine learning first uh, with NLP by achieving breakthrough performance in every single uh, natural language processing task. But um, it is today producing state-of-the-art result in every single modality of machine learning. And I think that's the first time um, throughout the history of machine learning that every single community, the speech community, the vision community, the NLP community, the reinforcement learning community, chemistry, bio, uh, bio uh, healthcare, everybody is working uh, uh, with the same set of architectures uh, with slight variations, and everybody is working from the same set of tools and speaking the same language. So it's really been... Um, a privilege for Hugging Face to be at the center of this ecosystem, to be the home for the community uh, that is uh, sharing and improving upon uh, what is possible. A greater uh, than uh, what you would expect from a team of now 150 people. We really represent the aggregate contribution of over 1,300 open source contributors to our libraries. Uh, and of course, we provide access to over 50,000 fine-tuned uh, fine pre-trained models for every single machine learning task you can imagine, for every single language you can imagine, all contributed to by our community. <laughs> And that focus on, on a community, on collaboration, on making machine learning open and collaborative has really fueled our traction today. Transformers is the reference toolkit uh, to make practical use of attention-based mechanism of Transformers models um, in every modality. And so now Optimum, why Optimum? Well, whenever I talk about the history of Hugging Face, I show this graph, which is very a prehistoric graph, and by that I mean it predates GPT-3. Uh, but even by then, the trend was really clear, which was this exponential uh, increase in the number of parameters of models that make it more challenging for engineers, for machine learning engineers, for software engineers, to make use of those models in a production context. 
because uh, they are getting uh, hungrier in terms of compute resource, memory resource, bandwidth resources. It creates a whole struggle for infrastructure teams to um, uh, make use of these models. And that's why we decided to create a specific library, Optimum, that is focused on the acceleration of transformers models from training to inference. Uh, because if you want to reduce uh, the, the, the latency you get from a vanilla PyTorch TensorFlow model to something that you can use for real-time use cases, to something that you can use an, in a cost-effective way, you need to, um, to decrease the latency through three different layers of complexity. You need to work on your model, editing the graph. Uh, you need to uh, work on accelerating uh, the, uh, the, uh, the inference, and then you need to work on like the hardware-specific optimizations uh, to get it all down to millisecond levels. So Optimum is that bridge. It's the bridge between the transformers library and the hardware uh, and hardware peak performance. In the same way that with transformers, we made transformers accessible by offering a high level of abstraction and easy to use APIs. We want to do the same thing for hardware acceleration. And so with Optimum, we want to offer the reference toolkit for hardware acceleration, offering these high level APIs um, dedicated to production performance. So today, uh, Hugging Face Optimum is this one library uh, through which you can uh, get peak performance leveraging uh, these uh, uh, acceleration libraries and solutions from our partners, Onyx Runtime, Intel, GraphCore, Habana, all within the, uh, the Optimum package. So let's focus on uh, the Onyx Runtime uh, uh, package within Optimum. We can already today uh, use uh, Optimum to accelerate your trainings of transformer models in a very easy way, uh, to accelerate the inference of your transformers models in a very easy way. For training, we introduced a new trainer class called ORT Trainer. And if, if you're familiar with the transformers library, you're familiar with the trainer library. And it's really an easy uh, two lines of code switch to go from your transformer trainer to the ORT trainer to take advantage of all the acceleration that it provides. One of the main benefits is that through the ORT trainer, you get native integration of deep speed, and that produces amazing uh, acceleration results. In fact, I'm sharing here some uh, uh, preliminary figures shared by Ashwini Kad at Microsoft, uh, benchmarking uh, optimum Onyx runtime uh, and showing that you very easily get through these very few lines of code changes, uh, 10 to 40% uh, acceleration in the throughput of your training, uh, depending on the configuration, which st stage of this deep speed you're going to be using. So it's really powerful, but very simple. Then if we want to talk about uh, inference, there are three main classes uh, that I want to uh, to talk to you about. Like the first one is ORT Optimizer. It's a simple way to simplify uh, the graph uh, from your model. Uh, you can simplify the graph from your model by specifying just uh, the, uh, the, the pre-trained model and uh, the task. And what you get is a set of uh, basic optimization, uh, like constant folding, like operator fusion, that, that are going to be applied across the board. And you also get uh, advanced uh, optimization that is specific to the ex execution provider uh, that you are targeting, whether CPU or CUDA. Once you have an optimized graph, you can optimize the weights. You can optimize the weights by quantizing uh, the, uh, the model. And you can do so very easily using the new ORT quantizer class. And with the ORT quantizer class, you have access to both dynamic quantization and static quantization. It's a simple parameter change to go from one to the other to get a state-of-the-art acceleration. And you can do so by uh, targeting the specific execution provider that you're going to be user, uh, using to take advantage of uh, those hardware-specific optimizations. 
And last, if you're familiar with uh, Transformer, you're familiar with the uh, auto model for task uh, classes, which is uh, how you're able to like very easily apply a model to a specific uh, machine learning class. Well, with Optimum, you can do the same for Onyx runtime and benefit from uh, all the hardware acceleration uh, by switching your auto model for task to RT model for task uh, class. And so again, it's like a very easy uh, change to make to benefit from all the optimizations that uh, Unix Runtime provides. And something that I'm super excited about and that the community is super excited about is that we're collaborating together to enable sequence to sequence model uh, optimization through these optimum accelerated inference pipeline classes. All right. So to put, it, to put it all into like an end to end example, we just published a new blog post uh, you can find on our blog at hf.co slash blog. It's called Optimum Inference. And in here you have the whole sort of user story starting from a pre-trained model that is fine tuned for QA um, and then uh, exporting it to Onyx, applying the optimization, applying the quantization and using the ORT model for QA class uh, to get uh, accelerated performance. You're getting 44% uh, throughput uh, uh, increase or latency decrease uh, while conserving 99.6% of the original model accuracy. So that was uh, what I wanted to talk to you about. I invite you to check out and give a start to the Optimum library. It's on our GitHub at GitHub. Hugging face optimum. Thank you so much.